Luke, how are you doing? Fine. Fine, you're doing fine. Yeah. That's good. Um, well, before we go into the new album, uh, here we go, Magic, the new album, uh, A Different Ship. Uh, I just have a few questions about, uh, well, uh, living in S Salem, what's it called? That's where I was born. Born. Yeah. But where did you grow up? I grew up close to Salem. I grew up in Manchester, Mass. Okay. And Massachusetts. You, well, you studied painting. Um, what was first for you, painting or making music? Uh, uh, drawing, painting, from when I was really little. And wh what did you draw? Did you draw your own? Um, I mean, I, when I started, you know, I just started drawing like monsters and <clears throat> superheroes and stuff like that. Um, my parents used to try to like, I, re I was really into caricatures from the beginning and cartoons and trying to, trying to make sort of funny likenesses of people. That was something I was really into. And then it just moved when I got into more like fine art. It was, uh, it was figurative and, and portraiture that I was mostly interested in. And why do you do like this, fine art? Well, because I don't, um, it, it's, it, you know, there's a, in, the, in the world of the arts, there's this distinction between um, fine art and then uh, illustration or commercial arts, you know. And, uh, um, you know, fine art is usually bought by private collectors and it's shown in museums and galleries and it's meant to be revered and, um, and, you know, illustration, services, media, um, and is usually not considered to have much depth, you know, so, but, but... Um, Do you agree? No, not always. I mean, if it's like, uh, if you're doing like airbrush touch-ups for like Hustler magazine or something, or if you're like, um, you know, painting, like airbrushing muscle cars or something. Or I mean, I suppose like I have my opinions about what I think is more interesting than other stuff, but I've always loved cartoons and I've always loved caricatures. And um, I think that, you know, I can find the same sort of enjoyment from that stuff as I can from like going to, you know, a, a museum or something. I mean, it's, it's wide and varied. You know, but I, I, I've always drawn cartoons, so that's something that is really close to my heart personally. But do you still do it? Yeah, yeah, I still sketch. And, and do you have your own, uh, well, cartoon hero that you've created? Um, no, I have a, I have a very specific uh, look to the faces that I draw. There's always a similar, the way that. Um, the way that the eyes look in particular is my own thing. It's hard to describe without showing it to you, but um, yeah, I have a real idiosyncratic look to my drawings, but there's no one central character. It's always different people, but they all have this, a similar look to them. And when did music, making music uh, come into your life? Uh, er, I mean, early, probably, probably, 10 or 11, when I started really listening to music, and then a friend of mine started playing drums, and then another friend we had started playing guitar, so I just picked up the bass arbitrarily to kind of fill, fill in the band, and we started just playing music with each other. And that was the beginning. And then it was more or less a hobby for a long time because I was taking visual art more seriously, and I went to art school, um, and it wasn't until I, f I left art school and moved to New York with the original intention of showing my, my artwork, um, that I, that's when I started to, to like write songs and then um, play shows and, and then, you know, people seemed to like it. And it was just, there was much less bureaucracy um, with, with music. It was something I could book my own show, I could invite people to come. It was something that happened in real time in the moment, it was spontaneous, there was an audience, you know, it was less complicated. So well, I just kind of went in that direction 